My name is Tim Atkinson. And my novel, The Glorious Dead, is a war story, but a war story with a difference. Because the action only starts once the guns stop firing. But the fighting is far from over. Most books about the Great War end with the armistice. And a few go on to discuss things like the Paris Peace Conference or the Treaty of Versailles, usually with reference to German reparations and a nod to the tragic events that were going to transpire 20 odd years later. But for thousands of ordinary British soldiers, the war against mud, against their own memories and against the madness of what they'd been through was far from over. The work of the British Army carried on too. There were hundreds of thousands of bodies still to bury, whole battlefields to clear, and there were, surprisingly, many men who were willing to stay on in France and Flanders to do that work. Jack is one of these men. Unremarkable, except for the fact that he seems not to mind. Searching for bodies, uh, rifling around, getting his hands dirty, looking for ID and digging graves. In fact, he seems not to care about the date of his demob. He even makes faltering attempts to learn the local language. But there's a secret that's keeping Jack in Flanders, doing the Empire's dirty work. And it's a secret that lies buried in Jack's past, back on the windswept slopes of the Yorkshire Dales. And it's a secret that only emerges when a visitor to the battlefield cemeteries arrives in search of Jack's own grave. The work that men like Jack did is in many ways the untold story of the Great War. But I think it's a story that has to be told. And if you'd like to help me get that story written, then please pledge your support at unbound.co.uk for my book, The Glorious Dead. Thank you.